In a conventional house, the heat inside the room is lost to the outside through the walls, windows, infiltration, roof, and floor. The floor represents 15% of the total heat losses in a house. Therefore, an insulated floor is essential to keep the heat inside the house. In this video, you will see the best way to insulate the floor to prevent heat loss. Step 1 The space required to insulate the floor is 1 foot below plinth level. Step 2 Put a layer of stones about 3 to 4 inches big. Step 3 Use a wooden hammer to distribute the stones. Step 4 Cover the stones with gravel to fill the gaps between the stones and to create a flat surface. The stones create a barrier against humidity and moisture. The layer of stones and gravel should be 4 inches thick in total. Step 5 Use mud bricks to divide the floor into sections about 3 feet by 3 feet. The partitions are essential to prevent the floor from cracking. Add a layer of bags filled with an insulation material such as sawdust, peat pill, straw or hay. The height should be 4 inches after compression. Step 6 Cover the bags with a layer of wooden sticks, locally known as talu. Step 7 Finally, apply a 4 inches layer of mud. However, if you didn't cover the bags with talu, you have to increase the thickness of the mud layer to 5 or 6 inches. The partitions made earlier will prevent the mud layer from cracking. If it is not possible to make the floor anew, you can prevent major heat losses by applying a half an inch thick layer of foam mattresses on the corners where the floor meets the walls that are exposed to the outside. The strip on the floor should be at least 3 feet wide. The strip on the walls should be at least 2 feet wide. Fix the strip with a wooden batten and if possible cover it with plywood. 